everybody! I'm here today to talk to you about nine tips for avoiding drowsy driving. If you're driving, one of the worst things that you can do is drive when you're drowsy. These nine tips will help you avoid drowsy driving. Without further ado, let's get right into the video. Number one, get a good night's sleep. If you had a bad sleep the night before, if you only slept for a few hours, or even sometimes if you only sleep for six hours, sometimes even seven hours, you know what? You might be drowsy when you drive. So get a good night's sleep. It's one of the easiest things and the best things that you can do to avoid drowsy driving. Plus, getting more than enough sleep is good for your health, your mind, and your body. Tip number two is drive during daylight hours. If you drive during the nighttime, if you drive when it's dark, you're more likely to feel drowsy. It's your body's natural response to the dark. The moment that it's dark outside, your body automatically starts to feel more tired. Various chemicals release in your body that allow you and cause you to feel tired. It's the reason why we tend to want to sleep as it gets later in the day. It's because we lose more energy, but also because of the overall darker environment. If you drive during daylight hours, then you're less likely to feel drowsy. Tip number three, take a nap. If you don't have to drive right now, if you have like an hour, half an hour before you have to leave the house, take a nap. Literally, just take a nap. Uh, take a nap as short as 15 minutes and it will help you feel much more alert and awake. It will start to get rid of that drowsy feeling. Tip number four is have some juice or coffee. Now, if you drink coffee, you know, you have to moderate it. You can't drink too much coffee. I love coffee, but I know that you can't drink too much coffee because it's not good for you. So, you know, if you are within your moderation limits, then have a cup of coffee or a sip of coffee or whatever the case is. If you don't drink coffee or caffeinated beverages, have some juice. In most juices, there's going to be sugar um, or at least the natural sugars from fruits. And that sugar is going to give you a boost of energy. So have something energetic to drink. That It's as simple as that. Have something energetic to drink something that you know your body can handle and something that you would regularly uh, be drinking don't go out of your comfort zone but have something energetic to drink moving forward to tip number five which is drive with someone else if you can take someone along with you and have someone to talk to or even someone to just keep your mind um, active then you're less likely to feel drowsy. So drive with someone else. By driving with someone else, you're going to actually allow yourself to talk to someone and sort of keep all of the areas of your mind nice and stimulated. The sixth tip is to listen to something interesting. If you're listening to boring music or boring audio in your car, you're going to be bored. You're going to be more likely to get drowsy. By listening to something interesting, it's going to keep you awake. It's going to keep you alert. It's going to keep you in the zone. So pick something inter interesting that you like to listen to, whatever it is for you, and listen to it. Tip number seven, take a taxi. If you can take a taxi to where you're going, take a taxi because I would always recommend avoiding driving when you're drowsy. Even if you only feel just a little bit drowsy, you should not be driving. So with that being said, just take a taxi or a ride sharing service. You know, take a ride sharing service if you have the ability to take it. Tip number eight is to just stay home. If you don't have to go somewhere and you're drowsy, just stay home. I know that it's tempting to just want to get your tasks done and just go. But if you can avoid going somewhere, um, if you don't absolutely have to and you have the ability to stay home, then just stay home. It will do you so much better uh, in terms of not driving when you're drowsy. Just don't drive. It's as simple as that. Last but not least, tip number nine for avoiding driving in a drowsy state is don't eat foods that you feel uh, that make you feel tired before you start driving so if you have certain foods that you know will make you feel tired don't eat them before you start driving if I know that eating this food makes me feel tired and drowsy just don't eat it it's as simple as that because if you eat that food obviously you're gonna feel tired when you're driving and if you know it makes you feel tired don't eat it before you drive and that's pretty simple and straightforward but it will make a big difference I cannot tell you the number of people that I know that drive and then they say, oh, I'm so tired as they're, ta as, they're, as they're driving and talking to me and they just ate foods that they know will make them tired. It's like, come on, you know it's going to make you tired. Don't eat it before you drive. And that's it. Those are nine tips for avoiding drowsy driving. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think down below as a comment. And of course, be sure to subscribe for more great car and driving videos just like this one. And that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching.